everyone. I hope that you're doing well. Thank you for tuning in because this is an experiment and this is going to be my reaction to My Hero Academia Season 6 Episode 15. <laughs> ah, keyboard. Okay. <laughs> so the villains are in retreat. That's a good thing, right? No. I've seen the preview. This doesn't look good. Let's get into this. Okay. So that one at the Look at like Mina and Kirishima, they're ready. Even even though this is like such a, a desolate Well that's a way to start. That's usually how like heist movies start. That's not what happened. Okay, so they still have that many people? Oh, they're wearing masks. I'm trying to like, I'm looking at this guy on the right. I'm like, where's his head? <laughs> right, how powerful do the prison guards have to be? I love that they call it Tartarus, and I'll explain why afterwards. Oh, goodness. I need to, uh, I need to look up those names. Yeah, he's fully healed. I do not like the silent, like, black and white of this. Plumhead. <laughs> he might be human, but honestly, like, he, he was the blueprint for the Nomus. The only thing is, is that he'll lie still until given orders. Oh, is that Atsuhiro? Is that Compress in there? I'm guessing that guy, based on his hair, he might be the one in the intro. Oh, which means that one might not be Atsuhiro, that might be the purple-haired girl in the intro. So these are the three main, like, the worst people. Okay. To break out all for one, I mean... Yes! One of the Nomu has wings. This isn't gonna work. Okay. Oh my gosh. Were those Nomu? Oh, Shigaraki! Take, take, take the... Take the hand off. Yeah, exactly. Then why are you tied up? Which means I need your body. I don't need your soul. Now, now you know it's Shigaraki. <laughs> Just get at like honestly, at this point, you you focus all of your attention to those three prisoners. Oh my gosh, bones. Tartaros. Even that smile doesn't look like Shigaraki's. Jeez, the animation, like you can tell the difference. It seems like All For One isn't exactly concerned about the other villains in there. Doesn't that mean that everyone else could get out too? <laughs> Who's walking? That's not Shigaraki. Or is it? Okay, yeah, they're even they're bringing it up more. Here. They're gonna ex they're gonna explain it. Oh goodness. Okay, so it is all of the. Okay, all right, all right. Who else was locked in Tartarus that we know about? <laughs> Muscular? Yeah, interesting. <laughs> Moonfish? He's the worst. And I didn't even recognize him because he has his- he doesn't have his mask on. Tuck, you almost- Alright, so here's- here's this one. Is she gonna help whoever is trying to get out? Overall! Oh no! Of course- 
course he was being held in Tartarus. Crap. Shigaraki. Yeah, at least Muscular knows who he is. This is so weird to have one soul controlling both bodies. I don't like you. Well, at least they can still call him by name. It's like, at this point, I can't help it. I'm starting to sympathize for Shigaraki. I, I just I just want Shigaraki to remove himself from the situation. That's it. That's it. Despair arc. Oh my gosh, he's trying to call him back! I don't think so. What do you think's gonna happen? You're okay. <gasps> Maybe not. Sensei, Endeavor. Oh, you're worried about them. You're alive. Good. You poor thing. They, you, you think you failed her. Uh, yeah. Yoshi. At least he can still use his quirk. Does he have a hairnet on? Of course. How many of them have serious injuries? I don't remember Jiro getting hurt. You, like, Togoyami, man. Togoyami is a real one. Yeah, you literally, like, Tog Todoroki was literally, like, edgelord in the beginning. Gosh, Fuyumi and Natsu were here and some- oh, and- wait, was that Ray? Hold on a second, was that Ray in the corner? Todoroki listens way too much to that. Oh, yeah. But you're tech you technically have more potential than endeavor. So you could have been Davi, Todoroki, but you weren't. I will never use my fire. Todoroki could have ended up like Davi, just out of sheer hatred for his dad. But that didn't happen. Yeah, back then. I knew they were gonna do that. Yes. Aren't you glad you didn't go down that path? Look what you could have ended up as. Oh, not just, not just them. Ray. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, literally let go of him. Deku? Oh, jeez. Yeah, after after I tried to protect you, you're not gonna. Oh, shoot. I mean, obviously, intro, outro. He's gonna wake up. Hawks. Wow. Oh wow, cool. Well, I mean. Oh. Man, okay. What to talk about first? Like the moment I saw the sleeves waving in the in the wind, I was like, it's overhaul. <laughs> I read somewhere apparently overhaul's quirk could adapt to him having no arms, which automatically is terrifying to me. Imagine having like somebody like overhaul and all for one existing and practicing villainy at the same time. That's terrifying. Not to mention overhaul running free. Aerie. Oh my gosh, Aerie's tormentor is free. So I think the first thing I need to think of is Twice. This is why Twice died. I've never realized how similar Twice and Spinner are until now. Twice is made by the League of Villains, so is Spinner. Spinner wants to see a world that Shigaraki created, you know? And Twice did it all for the sake of his friends. So the thing is, I feel like Twice is, is stronger than Spinner, both mentally and physically. I feel like if Twice was in this situation with All for One Shigaraki edition, Twice would not have st like w would not have let it stand. He would have taken more drastic action. So now that he's dead, it's literally up to the weakest member of the League of Villains to do this. I thought that was Mr. Compress in there, but the fact that if he was shown with somebody else, this dude, I am one hundred percent sure that he's the guy in the intro that's like going. 
We have that as a new character, and then this purple-haired girl who seemed to possess more of a heart than the villain. The fact that she freed somebody who was trying to get out, meaning that they couldn't get out by themselves. Somebody who was hindered pretty badly. So to me that seems like she has, I don't know, like a, a, a moral compass, but if she was locked in Tartarus then it's like, I don't know how, how far that moral compass goes. Maybe she's like a, a super powerful vigilante, maybe she thinks that she's doing the world a favor or something. So yes, Tartarus. Tartarus. Let me let me double check on this so I know I'm not lying to you. Yeah, okay. All for one was correct. Tartarus is in Greek mythology some primordial entity that sort of was like one of the first entities in Greek mythology to exist. This 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 dark force. The way that I know him, at least in terms of Greek mythology, is he's basically that place in the underworld. The underworld is where Hades is. Tartarus is like the place where the worst of the worst people go when they die. It's used to great effect here. The torturers, the, the serial killers, all of these these awful, awful, awful people with not an ounce of good in their hearts. Tartarus is when they die, that's where they go to suffer. In the story, I mean. So I love that, like, Tartarus is a prison for the worst of the worst, and once you go in, you never come back out. Ooh. <laughs> Except for now, when they all get out. <laughs> I knew that Moonfish would have gone down there. Like, now that I'm thinking about it, he was gross. He was so gross. Muscular, too. The fact that Deku was able... Well, Deku and Tokuyami were able to put down villains that were strong enough to be thrown in Tartarus is just... Man, Class 1A are like, they're the future heroes of the world. They're amazing. I can't wait to see more of them. Anyway, um, I don't know what All For One's motives are. I don't like that he walked free. The fact that he's free now and doubly powerful is, is weird. To me now at this point usually when th when there's this whole like dual dual identities situation i always end up rooting for the lesser of the two evils so now shigura now i'm literally like deku go out there and save shigaraki he needs help <laughs> even if the moment he's free he's gonna destroy everything it's better than all for one i kind of just want all for one to just get booted out just immediately i feel like the only way now definitely to stop all for one is for him to die and i know i know because this is how all superhero movies work i know that deku's gonna be the one to kill him or bakugo i mean it would be cool if if Bakugo killed one, killed all for one, just and just be like, ha, I beat you, Deku. I beat down the worst villain in the world. I am the best hero. I can imagine Deku just being like, yes, good, you did it. To be honest, all for one is not a Deku villain. I don't think. Definitely an All Might villain. And since Bakugo wants to be number one, it wouldn't be too out of left field for him to fight all for one and win. Somehow. I don't know. But Shigaraki is a Deku villain. The two have far too much in common. They are literally like two sides of the same coin. <laughs> Deku needs to find that little black haired boy in Shigaraki's memories and save him from everything. Because if there- I wish there was a quirk that could do that. A quirk that allowed somebody to access somebody's inner core. Just reach into that inner child and just heal them and comfort them and tell them everything's gonna be all right. Because I feel like that could that could be like the epitome of saving somebody, you know? Coaxing them back from the darkness. Oh, I love that idea. I love that idea and I know that there's not going to be a quirk in the show that does that because that's a little too OP. But oh, but what if it was put in the hands of somebody who wasn't naturally caring and compassionate? That would be interesting. Yes, Todoroki's reflecting on Dobby. I'm pretty sure that they'll have a rematch at some point. Ray's there, which is great. It seems like we're going to get a little bit into Hawks' backstory in the next episode, even though it's called the Hellish Todoroki family. Family, part two. Deku, I know that Deku wakes up, but he seems pretty defeated. This is the start of something terrifying, and I'm just waiting with bated breath, because it's like, we, we basically needed two episodes to like, step back a little, because the action is probably gonna come back hard in the next one. So that's really all I have to say. Be sure to like and comment and subscribe and ding the bell for notifications, you don't have to, but I am trying to make this a source of income for me, so it would be super, super cool if you did. Comment below, tell me your theories, tell me your analyses, tell me what what you think's going to happen. I think it's going to be a while yet before we get to like the th the, the major thing I was spoiled on. It, it might be like the very end of the season that we find this out. I'm not sure. I don't know how far they're going to go with this. I don't know if there are going to be 20 episodes, 25 episodes, 24 or 26 because usually 26 is the max but I have seen seasons go 20 and then 24 and then 26. If it's 26 episodes we'll definitely get to the big thing I was spoiled. The, the big big thing I was spoiled on. If not, I don't know. So um, yeah, thank you so much for staying and have a nice day.